Hello my lovely people, welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the palace of Oni of Ife. Uh, information reaching us right now allegedly is that the only reason the palace are biting themselves because now they said then they bite not be the king. <laughs> You know that uh, with all this drama that is going on in the palace, they are expecting the king, you know, to be worrying himself over the latest update in the palace. Uh, for the interest of those who d may not know or who may not have watched the videos, recently we heard that uh, Mariam came up with uh, one guy like that. They said the guy is around 25 years, claiming that the child is the king's son, that the king impregnated the mother 25 years ago. And uh, the mother now handed the child over to uh, Mariam and begged Mariam to introduce the child to the king when he's of age and all of that. And also, there's this other news that uh, a charm was found in the king's uh, chambers and all of that. So with all those things, they were expecting that uh, they will use it to distract the king over going after Queen Naomi and Prince Tadeniko because we do know that recently the king is very serious about bringing Queen Naomi back to the palace by you know telling the wife to go and look for a house outside and they refused he started with uh, uh, giving them attitude and all of that so they said when uh, the king when they heard that the king went to um, uh, uh, Lekki to spend time with uh, Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenikawa. They were so mad at, on hearing that. They said the king spent most, more than three hours plus with Prince Tadenikawa and uh, Queen Naomi. And when the information got to the Oluris in the palace, they were kind of, what kind of humanities? Ah! Why is it that everything they are doing to get his attention, they are not doing it, they are not getting it? That he hardly spent time with them, unless maybe when they went on a on a occasion with him, that hardly will you see him, you know, spending time with them. That all the while he will be kind of talking to them in the public, just a cover up. But if it is Queen Naomi, you will always see him smiling and laughing, you know. But when uh, he returns back to the palace, he will all he will be mean to them that he no longer treat them as wife. That the way he is uh, marginalizing uh, this, uh, uh, doing marginalization in this marriage, that it is getting out of hand. So they were like, what are they going to do to stop him from uh, going to Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenikawa? Because they believe that with all the drama in the palace, that he will be distracted. Because we do know that all these women, if you ask me, they gang up against this thing. This issue of a 25 year old, I'm sure. It might be a gang up by the Oloris to distract him from going for Queen Naomi and from taking them out of the palace. So, but it looks as if their plans are not working out. Although we know that they are not going to relax, they will still come up with one thing or the other, you know, to see if they are going to distract the king from going to Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenikawa. But that is never going to happen. And that is because they don't, they, they are not shameful at all. They no get shame. If you say they get shame, they for no say the king don't love them. The the king no love them one bit. You know, the king might have married them for one business reason, business reason or the other. And instead of them to keep to the reason why they were being married to the king, they were busy fighting the king's love with Queen Naomi. Of course, they are just fighting alone because Queen Naomi is not even fighting with them. They think there is nothing they can do to shift the king's attention from Queen Naomi and Prince Tadeneka to themselves, you know, but that is never going to happen. At the beginning, it looks as if it was working for them because uh, maybe through their juju and everything, they were able to enter the palace. But one thing is to take the horse to the stream, another thing is to make the horse to drink water. Now they have entered the palace, let them enjoy the marriage now. They are not enjoying it. They are really suffering inside our marriage. Oh, forget about uh, coming up outside to make us believe that uh, everything is rosy inside. Hmm. But from what we are hearing allegedly, it is not. Not rosy one bit, you know. So I just wish that uh, when Naomi would just overlook everything and accept the king back so that 
they will go and hug a uh, transformer around them because that is the only thing that is going to happen if Quenomi accept the king again now you find out that uh, they will not uh, some of them will start even leaving the palace because all these things are happening because they think they are winning you know they think they are winning that all they are doing is working that is why you see them keep struggling and all over but the moment Quenomi accept the king and return back to the palace with Prince Tadenika will now you see that uh, everybody will mind his or her business. Some, not, some of them will not even be comfortable in that marriage any longer because all they are doing will not be working again. And forget to, even when Quenomi is far from them, they are juju not the work. If she come closer, <laughs> and be say enough for her day for this woman. But the thing is that the king does not love them. But what has why what sometimes i'll be wondering why can't the king take the horn, uh, bull by the horn and do the needful as a lot of people are you know uh, expecting from him you know because from the look of things i don't think the king is ready to let Queen Naomi go in all of this yes i don't think he is ready to let Queen Naomi go and uh, from the way things are looking now it looks as if the king and Prince Tadenika are ready to reunite anytime soon. And that is why you see all the Soloris walking to Tanil, uh, showing up with one distraction or the other to see if they will uh, achieve their aim. So, but even after everything, the king will be happy. They said why he was with uh, Queen Naomi and uh, uh, Prince Tadenika, he was so, so happy, super happy. You know, but when he returns back to the palace, he will go back to their normal mood in that palace because the mood in the palace is everybody on your own. On your own. You know, even when the king, uh, the wives will be trying to kind of spend time or chat with uh, the king, the king will be kind of warding them off, you know, because they don't come with any positive energy. They all uh, have negative energy, you know. And that is why the king is trying to avoid them at all costs. Because they only bring bad goods to the palace. If these people are wise enough, what they should have done is to call themselves meeting, uh, try to bring peace. If they start making peace in that palace now, if they start uh, living in peace with each other, the king might even decide to you know to be kind of be free with them again. Because as it is now, she's not free with them. She doesn't even see them as important people in his life, and it is getting to them. So my advice for them is to, is for them to start making peace and to live in peace with all of that, and stop and stop fighting Queen Naomi, you know, and the king might even start liking them again. So guys, as so we hear them more. Don't forget that they are all alleged information. Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Bye for now. Love you guys.